Hello, my name is Dr. Sunanda Kane, and I'm Professor of Medicine at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. And I'm going to spend a few minutes talking about a very new, exciting study that we are going to be part of and sponsored by the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America. And you may have already heard about this. The study is called FACES, which stands for Food and Crohn's Exacerbation Study. And that patients who have ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease one of the first questions or concerns they have is, what can I eat? And also, well, changing my diet, will it actually help with symptoms or even cure my disease? So, and in, so our primary investigator, Dr. Lewis from the University of Pennsylvania, put together a study that is now funded, and there will be multiple sites across the U.S., and Mayo Clinic in Rochester is one of them. So what this study entails is it's a randomized controlled trial of looking at the specific carbohydrate diet versus the Mediterranean diet to treat Crohn's disease, not ulcerative colitis. Right now we're just looking at Crohn's. And this is a six-week study and that participants will be delivered to their either home or office their, their food from a specialized kitchen and that's what they're going to be asked to eat. And that symptoms are then logged on a weekly basis electronically. And visits are going to occur at weeks 0, 6, and 12. And that there will be stool samples involved to assess for inflammation um, and, and potentially disease activity. So we're very excited about this. Um, we do believe that there are differences between different diets. The par problem is, is that it's hard to be in a situation to control what people eat and limit what people eat. So in this study, it's very nice that all of the meals are prepared for the subjects and delivered to them so that we can have a little bit more control. Obviously, it's going to be difficult to absolutely control all of the other items that people may eat in that six-week time frame, but we do think that motivated patients who have mild to moderate disease, who otherwise have not been tolerant to or don't wish to take medications, may be able to actually treat some of their symptoms with a, one of these diets. So we're very encouraged and excited about this new uh, study that we will be enrolling probably within the next four to five months.